I love the jump pack. Witness me! But did you know it takes up a stratagem slot? Uh, what? Helldivers 2 needs a separate backpack only stratagem slot in addition to the four stratagem slots available. Now, I know what you're thinking. A free backpack slot? That's gonna make the game trivial! It's an overkill Doomguy power fantasy! Let me. <laughs> If you take a separate backpack, for example, the jetpack, you would naturally want a support weapon to go along with it. So, if you have a separate backpack and a support weapon, it takes two slots. Compare that to a single backpack support weapon, like the autocannon. It kills hulks with two quick shots to the face. It is one of the most reliable weapons for killing them from- Yep, yep, yep. The only downside of the weapon is- a backpack, backpack slot. That is the only downside, so you don't get to pick one of the backpacks in your four stratagem slots. But is it? Is it a drawback if you can take an extra stratagem slot that can be filled with anything you want? Take an extra airstrike with you, which will kill dozens of enemies, or you could just take a 500 kg with you, which will kill that bile hey, titan hey, for you. Shut up. This is my video. So to counteract this, have a separate backpack only stratagem slot that comes with a backpackless support weapon, like the machine gun. My suggestion every backpackless support weapon adds one more slot for a backpack, similar to a backpack support weapon. So when you call down a backpack with support weapon like the sniper, you get a backpack in the same drop pod. A sniper on one side and jetpack in the other. Instead of two separate helipods like this, the sniper and the jetpack be combined together. As for a backpack support weapon, there's no change since they already come with their own backpack. Oh, I'm gonna say backpack a lot in this video. So, the only change is every backpackless support weapon is bundled with any backpack you want in the same hell pot, a two-in-one deal. By now, some of you have already left a comment saying something along the lines of, Bloody hell, Mike, that's gonna be on balance, isn't it? Yeah, probably. So, if it gets more players to use the jetpack, I mean other backpacks, I think that will make more build variety, give players more options. I mean, look at the recent post. They said they're gonna focus on fun, right? Not balance for balance sake. Isn't this idea fun, Mr. Georgiani and Mr. Pilestead? Wait, balance for balance sake? That sounds familiar. Ah, never mind. To play devil's advocate real quick, it might even prove to be a good way to bridge a gap between the power of a backpack support weapon and a backpackless support weapon. What do I mean by this? A backpack support weapon will be more powerful than their backpackless variant because technically you're sacrificing a backpack slot. So by combining backpack and a backpackless support weapon in one health pot, that will boost their effectiveness overall, competing with the backpack support weapon. Leading to combos like the jetpack sniper, the jetpack flamethrower, the jetpack machine gun. Fine, I am a jetpack main. In my humble opinion, a sniper with a backpack isn't gonna replace the autocannon in terms of raw power. Which is why, if you want to use the backpack along with the sniper, you should be able to do it without sacrificing another stratagem slot for it. Think about it, a sniper isn't as powerful as an autocannon. It does not have AoE, it has less damage, can't destroy spawners, can't destroy shriekers nests as easily as the autocannon, and the list goes on. So if you are running the sniper jetpack combo, it will give you more mobility to compensate for the lack of firepower and less utility. And now, let's look at a backpack support weapon that has been touted as the most balanced support weapon in the game. One of the lead balance devs have praised as the pinnacle of balance, upsides, downsides. And Pilestat's favorite weapon. The shoulder mounted alt account is my absolute favorite. It is. You're not running other backpacks with this stratagem. I mean, you can, and probably juggle two backpacks through the whole map. Very viable strategy. And again, the autocannon takes one stratagem slot, saving a slot for what would otherwise be a backpack. Uh, a backpack if you were taking a backpack or support weapon. So it actually saves a stratagem slot because you can't carry more than one backpack anyways. My argument is it's not a sacrifice. The sacrifice actually happens when you use a backpack or support weapon and a backpack, taking up two stratagem slot instead of one. Friendly reminder that this suggestion is not made with balance in mind. But since backpackless support weapon is usually weaker than their backpack counterparts, some backpacks are just way too useful for me to claim this is fair and balanced. But seriously, who would complain about having more stratagems to use in the mission? Arrowhead be like, RELY ON YOUR STRATAGEMS! Also Arrowhead, 50% call in time! 
25% longer cooldown. Triple A defense minus two stratagem slots. Let me go. go. Let me go. I'm currently working on a mech bit that will focus mostly on the positive part of the Freedom of Elevation update. That's what I'm gonna call it since, you know. Since balance has been a contentious issue currently, I'd like to bring some positive news to the Helldivers community. I myself am full of hate and anger. Why the heck would they pick and choose over what is realistic, Arrowhead? Just make a fun game. If it's not fun, why bother?